The nostalgia is in the air. I can feel it. Can you? What is up, guys? Jen here, bringing you a first look video at the Mega Drive Classics, or if you're over the pond in America, the Genesis Classics Collection. Now, I have got to thank Sega of Europe with providing me with an early content so I can showcase Blast Processing at its finest. I'm going to be giving you some content leading up to the release of the game, which is on the 29th of May. This will run aside my current content. And if you want to see more and when it's uploaded, hit the like button, subscribe below, follow me on Twitter at Genesis7 and hit the notification bell, ting, because it will notify you of all this retro content now let's get right into it as you can see we have a nice little kind of warning message because retro graphics it is finest you know what it's like but we are here now some of you that have played um sega mega drive games on steam will recognize this this is the sega mega drive slash genesis um hub as it is and now we have it here on the PS4 and Xbox One. I am playing on the PS4 for this video, and we're gonna kind of just have a look around, familiarize ourselves back like it's 1991, two or three, whenever you did play the Sega Mega Drive, and we're gonna just embrace, embrace the nostalgia. So, we've gotta start off by looking at the games. Now this is a vast library of Sega's finest. We have Alex Kidd, we have Alien Soldier, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis, Biohazard Battle, Bonanza Bros, Columns and Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crackdown, Deepak Attack, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, um, Dynamite Heady, E-SWAT, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Grain Gound, Gain ground. <laughs> grain, grain? <laughs> Gain ground. Got it right. Galaxy Force 2, Golden Axe 1 through to 3. We have Gunstar Heroes. Let's go down to the next shelf. We have Kid Chameleon, Landstalker, Light Crusader, Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4. We have Rise Star, Shadow Dancer, Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force. Shining Force 2, Shinobi Return of the Ninja Master, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and 3D Blast, as well as Spinball. No Sonic 3 and Knuckles due to, um, I believe it's music copyright and all that, la di da I'm sure we all know the story by now. But we have Space Harrier 2, Streets of Rage 1 through to 3, Super Thunder Blade, Sword of Vermilion, Revenge of Shinobi, Toei Jam and Earl 1 and 2, Vector Man 1 and 2, Virtual Fighter 2, Wonder Boy 3, Monsters Lair, and Wonder Boy in Monster World. So we have a awesome bunch of games here, some of Sega's greatest. Blast processing at its finest. And you've probably noticed as I was running through these games that we have kind of like little buttons at the side for R1. We have extras. What does this mean? Well, we have leaderboards, online leaderboards for selected games. Also, we have achievements and challenges. 
So achievements, trophies, whatever platform you're playing on. But there is also challenges aside from that to kind of get you involved in some hardcore content, throwing you straight in the deep end, completing a certain task. And also, for certain games, for example, Streets of Rage 2, we can change the region so we can play the Japanese version or a different version of a game. This is again on selected games, so if you want to play a bare knuckle too at its finest, you can do it in this collection. So, if we go over to the extra screen, I spoke about trophies. I also spoke about challenges, so as you can see, we have a list of games and certain kind of requirements to unlock this challenge, um, to complete the challenge. So, for example, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, complete Green Hill Zone, Act 2 in Mirror Mode, in under a minute, which is a pretty crazy challenge right there. We have, like, Columns. Using mid-game save, get a score of 5,000. Comic Zone, epic comeback. It puts you straight in with the Kung Fu Tournament um, boss stage. Beat that, you've done the challenge. So this is a nice little collection of challenges to get yourself through. If you are kind of done with the nostalgia, but the nostalgia for me is just ever so growing once seeing this and again we have leaderboards where for certain games and certain things they are leaderboards now we have online online multiplayer for selected games you can see the games here that all have online capabilities which is nice i can't wait to smash through smeets of rage and golden axe with um someone online because i remember playing especially streets of rage i played it with my mom and we absolutely smashed it, so I can't wait smashing through those stages and beating Mr. X once again with one of me, you guys, you never know. So we have the online multiplayer, which is again, great kind of new way to play these classics. Talking about new ways to play these classics, again, you might know this from the Steam version, but we can have certain emulator settings, and this emulator, this emulation of this Sega, the Sega's classics is just on par. Um, as you can see, I'm going with the XBR, I'm going for the scan lines because I want that kind of CRT kind of feel back in the 90s. I've got the black border art, though you can change it to all these selected kind of um, presets. We've got stripes, we've got Streets of Rage, Sonic, some wood, a bit of jazz, a bit of circuit, and the ever so classic. Genesis slash Mega Drive grid, but I keep it on black for now. Um, we have mirror mode, you've seen me mention it in the Sonic challenge. You can play every game backwards, so if you really want to challenge yourself, mirror mode is what you want to do. So, and then we have like all the other ones like disable sprite limit, so you can have more sprites in there at the same time. Sometimes it can cause crashes, but most of the time it doesn't. Um, playing full screen, stretch full screen, I don't really like that, I like to play in 4x3, you know how our TVs used to be back in the day, um, and some other options there for pixel scaling, etc. We also have input settings if you want to change the controller settings. We have the TV, and we'll go into this in a minute because we'll play one of the challenges and see this gameplay in action. Again, we have the games library, um, a really good kind of collection of games. Um, we have the room settings, so if you want to kind of like hide the room labels, you can do that. If you want to change the time of day, you can do that. I mean, currently it's night time for me. I'm sitting in the dark. I'm playing through these classics. But we can go straight into daytime, early hours of the morning, rise and shine. It's time to play some Sega Mega Drive. So, and I just love this room. I mean, I've only seen kind of footage of the Steam version, but seeing this in front of me on my PlayStation 4, I'm pretty nostalgic right now. I'm, I'm living the moment. So we're going to go over to the extras. We're going to go over to challenges. And we're going to play Sonic the Hedgehog. We're going to complete this challenge. We're going to launch this. And this will throw us straight into Sonic the Hedgehog, Green Hill Zone, Act 2. But as you can see, it is backwards. Now, I like this kind of pixel thing that I've got going off here. But if I pause, 
and I hold in the button, we can go out and then I can go play again. I like this. I like this kind of really small screen because it looks fantastic. Now we've wasted five seconds, so we're going to get through and complete this challenge. Now, I really need to memorize how this stage goes because we need to complete it in under a minute. We're at 20 seconds. We've got to keep going. Around the loop. Up we go. I mean, I'm loving it already. I'm playing a game that I know like to the T, but I'm playing it in reverse. So we're going to keep running. Got to go fast. We can make it. We're at 40 seconds, but I'm pretty sure we're close. We are very close. Come on. 15 seconds to go. Can we do it? Yes, we can. There we go. And as you can see, we unlocked the medal. We did it. It only took one attempt. We are going strong. And that is just a small snippet of what this collection of classics has to offer. And again, like I said, I'll be uploading content to the build up of the release, showcasing some of the awesome things it has to offer. And you guys can be nostalgic with me and we can play through some of the classics. I'll be live streaming it. I'll be uploading content. I want you guys to get involved. Pre-order the game. And as soon as you've got it, let me know. And we'll be smashing online together. It's just a matter of time. I'm getting everyone hyped. I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. What should we do now? Hmm. I think we should just go play a normal game. Now, I've played many of these games when I was a child. Some of these games I've played as I've got older. But some of these games I've never played. For example, Alien Storm. Never played it. So we're going to hit it straight into the Mega Drive. And we're going to have a blast on Alien Storm because there's some classics here that I've never played. Never, ever, ever played. And this collection allows me to do that. And I will be platinum in this game. When the Ultimate Mega Drive collection came out on the PS3 quite some time ago. That was my first platinum trophy on the PlayStation. So... I am definitely going to be platinum this, without a shadow of a doubt. So let's have a quick blast on Alien Storm. Let's just kind of back up out of this and let's play on my classic screen. I like it. So we're going to play as this woman. Mission one, save the people. Man, this music. Oh, I like it. Whoa, whoa, these guys need to back on. Back off, man. I got a flame for it. Whoa, that was a, a very almighty. I just dropped a nuclear bomb by the looks of it. So we've got some energy. <laughs> we've got snails in these barrels. Let's go. This is crazy. This is the 90s at its best. So we're going to burn these down. Going to burn you down. So this is kind of like Streets of Rage slash aliens is what I'm getting. And also... Do you see this? We can quick save, and then save if we get hit. Ooh, let's quick load, and then go back, just like that. Moving up the left, not the left, the right analog stick, just to kind of tackle our mistakes. And speaking of mistakes, oh, you see this? We are rewinding. There is a rewind button, probably something that I won't use often, because I want to prove myself as a retro gaming god. But um, for, for newcomers, this is great. There is a reverse function, a rewind function, to kind of edit those mistakes and remain invincible and keep your life at its full potential. Now, I say I wouldn't use it. I think I probably would use it. But there's also a fast-forward button. So if you know the game to the T, challenge yourself. Hold that fast-forward button and blast process your way through your favorite Sega game. Now that is about it. I, I'm going to wrap this video up because I want to save some of these um, challenges and classics for other videos. Again, I need to urge you that I am going to be uploading this along my content on the channel. So follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join Team Gen, and let's blast process together. So let's zoom out, let's embrace our room for the next couple of weeks until release. 
And until next time, guys. Sega! Oh, 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 oh